So I started off in regulatory affairs actually by accident. Um, I had graduated uh, university with my bachelor in science and when you are studying in sciences uh, and you ask you know your teachers and uh, colleagues and you know people that you just go to school with like what can you do with a science degree they tell you the generic answer is you know they tell you, you can do anything but then when they ask you to you know like when you question them and you say well what's anything you know that's where it's a little bit point blank so I had graduated and then I got into customer service in the pharmaceutical field and then from there I got to see um, the different positions in the company and I saw that there was an opening in regulatory and then I just applied and from there, well, it's history. So I'm currently a regulatory affairs manager and my day to day is literally providing support for my team. I have uh, nine employees underneath me and the day to day is just literally filtering questions left, right and center. It's a lot from my team and also from other departments where they need support in uh, regulatory matters. I would say regulatory affairs is very, very important uh, because I would see us as the people that make the company stay in the lines. Um, a lot of departments like to test the boundaries of regulations and what they can and can't do and uh, regulatory is always there to steer them back in the correct lane. When I first got into regulatory affairs, my first position was an assistant, and um, I liked the profession so much and I really liked what I was doing, I wanted to see how I can further my career and what is really out there to help me um, get the knowledge and the education I needed. So. Good old Dr. Google helped me out in that instance, so I googled regulatory affairs and I find my, found my way to the RAPS website. Uh, I feel like I get the first look or the first uh, notifications into the latest things in uh, the regulatory affairs world. Um, we get constant emails about new guidances or new things that are going on into the world. Um, I just feel like it's very beneficial in that aspect um, because we can't really rely on you know getting notifications from the health authorities I mean those come you know not as often um, and also it just provides us a really really good place for me to speak to other regulatory fair professionals um, so I can get you know their knowledge and their feedback and you know also their help when I'm stuck on you know situations or issues. So this is my first convergence uh, and I really didn't know what to expect and in fact um, I was a little bit scared uh, because my, um, my company sent me by myself and you know it's kind of like high school again, you know you're going to high school, are you going to have friends, are you going to sit alone at the table and eat, um, that wasn't like that at all. Uh, everybody here is super super friendly, um, I didn't feel alone. And one thing I learned a lot, and it's actually one thing I wanted to progress in, was regulatory intelligence. So that, um, it gave me a lot of tools and a lot of uh, knowledge in that aspect. And they gave me some tools and uh, I also purchased one of the textbooks from the bookstore that I'm really going to bring back and uh, my director and I were going to sit down and you know go through and really create an internalized regulatory intelligence tools to help our department grow.